I think that what happened was that there came the, this realization that regulation of this information is still in its infancy. That purveyors of this information have made it quite a profitable business and also quite an influential political platform which has very detrimental effects on democracy. And the European Union, being the Union of Democratic States as it is, has attempted now to respond to this by linking all of these aspects of contributing to a healthy media environment under uh, the EDMO moniker. And projects such as Profact encompass uh, a variety of partners from the academia, from the civil society sector, uh, independent researchers, media experts, educators, and a whole host of uh, actors who really have a stake uh, in a quality media environment, and tried to put together all of their focuses in this sort of uh, thorough look at what can be done in the media sectors of, Euro of European Union member states today. This is sort of a complementary uh, attempt in, in, in addition to the upcoming European regulation, including the Digital Service Act, Digital Media Act, but also part of the agenda that the European Union has already set out in the EU Democracy Action Plan. And through these projects, I would say uh, the EU is attempting to get to the ground and better understand disinformation as a phenomenon spreading throughout social networks, better understand who the purveyors of this information are. You need to fix this sector holistically. You need to ensure secure working conditions, professional dignity and living wages for journalists as the professional primary and really indispensable producers of media content. You need to come up with clever and workable regulation for tech platforms because without those there is truly nothing outside of market forces to account for the difference between the good and the bad or the actual media and purveyors of disinformation posing as media. Further, you need to work on media literacy, educate uh, pupils, students, professionals, people from all walks of life, from all ages, that their understanding of media, their ability to critically assess the information they receive through media, because without an educated public, without uh, an aware audience of citizens, uh, very few regulatory attempts would really bear fruit. I think that the takeaway of the panel was that you really cannot have one response without having the other, and that our, this so-called disinfodemic or information disorder we have uh, been living with for the last couple of years is really the result of a multitude of political, economic and social forces, and that each can be addressed with committing to the right goals and choosing tools to do so. Perhaps projects like these are a good entry point.